thank you, thank you, Element Magazine, and uh, Hero for presenting this award. This is quite a momentous moment for me for the simple reason that I've been fighting death penalty for 10 years, and I ventured into you know other areas like democratic rights of elections and enfranchising this our Singaporeans for right to buy elections and my um, the last my one of my biggest difficulty I had in challenge I mean is the 377 challenge because my sexuality was called into question. <laughs> <laughs> and I found out that it was so easy I mean it was so painful to fight death penalty cases. But when it came to this chapter I just, when I do a 377 challenge and it's just a victory before the Court of Appeal, I go through the Yahoo comments, I vomit blood. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, you know what the source, and first of all, this is the first time in 10 years I'm actually getting a Human Rights Award. because I love you Singaporeans and I love the world. <laughs> and I love all the ordinary people who belong to, who, who actually present the ecological choice of the rainbow. Now, <laughs> and one thing that I would like to tell you is that, you know what is so significant about this award? Of course I like this, but what is more important is finally I discovered my sexuality. <laughs> Article 12 challenge by Lawrence Lee, who was a former assistant general manager of uh, um, Robinsons, and he had he has alleged that he was discriminated because of sexuality. Now, what was uh, you know everyone was asking, Robbie well, must be gay, 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 because he had lost the 377 challenge. You know, come on, you know he screwed up and he's mental, and plus his mental capacity, he does not have any capacity. <laughs> so I am, you know what you all know. I'm not lesbian. I'm not, I'm not actually I like lesbian. I'm not gay. I'm not bisexual. I'm not obviously transsexual or transsexual, but of course once in a while I take sari and wear and dance. <laughs> you know what? I never I never knew about this category QA. So it was after an element magazine has brought this chapter that I finally realized that I'm actually questioning, which I'm Q. So ladies and gentlemen, I proudly announce that I'm a pansexual. <laughs> But sometimes I'm asexual, I like none. <laughs> but I find lesbians very cute, lads. So, <laughs> on to, you know, what's being around them. Now, I, on this, it's a very important time that I would like to tell you because the local media, being local media, did not announce something, a, a recent uh, intervention in 377, which is going to take place this coming week. It's not about gay men alone. You know, 377 is going through the Court of Appeal uh, in two weeks' time in the week commencing 7th of April. Now we have a bisexual who is 17 and a half years old. We have a transvestite who was recently not allowed into a restaurant and this lady, Angeline, fought with the restaurant owner and she landed up in a criminal charge because of the incident that happened. And I happened to represent her and uh, you know she was fighting for the transfer size rights she was not allowed into the restaurant. It turned out so ugly, it turned out in a police case she was charged in court. It's very, very serious. And of course, there is an androgen. He start, you know, I've recruited because it's so exciting in our new company called We Exist. And he says he's neither male nor female, and please call me it. <laughs> so all these people exist. You know, it's QI, it's the biggest uh, educational thing for me and as well as the court. And all these people are going to intervene in the 377. <laughs> Understand, this is the most important chapter of the 377 chapter. Article 12. Article, Article 12. 12. Now, these people, Lawrence V is actually the forerunner of former assistant general manager of uh, Robinsons, who has taken up the challenge of the Article 12 challenge, prohibition against discrimination. You know, the constitution does not even spell out that there's a prohibition against women, discrimination against women. What not this gender equality? 
So it's before the courts, and I will not comment, but these people, I mean, led by Lawrence B. Um, this is Margaret, was bashed up at the back lanes of Deca, and she almost committed suicide. She went to the 13th floor and wanted to die because she's even marginalized by even the gay community. Now, this 377 is not about just gay men. It's about the marginalized, the marginalized within the marginalized. It's even more serious. And she wanted to die. And this lady, a bisexual, fought and got her out. <laughs> and she's alive. Give a clap to Angela. Something because while you're talking about Margaret, I've been a little surprised. We had something for Margaret herself after just having heard her story. Can a presenter? Yep. Come on in. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. Oh. Oh. Our surprise oh. for Margaret. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Oh. That, all that applause, that was for you. And there's no reason why ever in a million years, you know, you ever have to think about touching yourself, <laughs> taking your life in the wrong way. It's, it's just, we're all thankful, we're grateful, and that was a lot of love for you, so. For Margaret. Um, we have a little bit of a limited time, okay. so we're going to jump to the next. All right, video. we will come to Speaker's Corner and face down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Brothers and sisters, God loves everyone. And just to conclude it, when God created Adam, he was both male and female. That's all. Thank <laughs> you.